how do we talk to people about Mars who don't have good English skills or don't have any English skills, especially if they are young children or young adults who are at that right age where they might become interested in planetary science or even if it's just a hobby like astronomy. I thought the best way to do this would be to try to find some volunteers in as many languages as possible who could translate our captioned images so that people from across the world would be able to see what it is that we are doing. These volunteers are working on an active space mission. We call ourselves the People's Camera because we wanted people to not only enjoy the pictures that we have, but to be able to see for themselves what we learn as we're going along. For someone who doesn't know anything about this, they can spend a great deal of time looking at these beautiful high resolution images and also reading about what they're looking at in their own language. I initially received about 30, 35 volunteers. The success of this really belongs to them. Volunteers who have stayed with the project from the beginning, for example, um, some of the Italian ones like Pasquale Schiaretta. He's been terrific. I've developed some really good relationships with these folks. They're all very, very interested. Roberto Gorla, another Italian volunteer, he has always been fascinated with science and space ever since he watched the landing of uh, the Apollo mission on the moon. One of our Spanish volunteers, his name is Nahum Hazara, he's been absolutely terrific. He turns these captions around so quickly that he's the bulk of the Spanish translations. And I have so appreciated his time and his efforts, as well as all of them. Also, our Greek translator, Aristides, he has been a terrific volunteer. And he thinks that it's just amazing that a lot of his countrymen don't really know a lot about Mars much less the fact that most of the names are in Greek anyway. Hellas Planitia, for example, or Alcoprates Cosma. So those are names that are already in Greek. And so our Greek volunteer, Ari, said, oh, this is easy to do with the place names because they're already there. So that made it personal for him in many respects because he's also a big history buff, as I've learned talking to some of these uh, our volunteers. And he just thinks it's amazing. The combined total of our captioned images that have been translated is over 300. This is an open-ended project. We want very much people who speak uh, other foreign languages, like Portuguese and French, for example, to participate. 